Developing tonight, Ohio has been added to the list of states with patients who lost their vision from contaminated eye drops. A Northeast Ohio woman went blind last year after using the drops. Her doctors at university hospitals were informed by the CDC about her case. Those doctors spoke with our senior health correspondent, Monica Robbins, who explains what happened and what you need to know. I was shocked. And that was long before doctors Morgan Morelli and Amy Klausterbohr knew their patient's eye infection would be connected to an outbreak now in 17 states. The 72-year-old Northeast Ohio woman went to UH's emergency room late last year, about a week after losing vision in her left eye. The eye itself changed appearance. Um, the husband started to notice this. She had some drainage coming from the eye and that's when she decided to come into the emergency department. Doctors soon discovered Pseudomonas aeruginosa, a waterborne bug that's common, but this one wasn't. Was It was resistant to every single antibiotic eye drop that we knew of. They gave her an IV antibiotic and then UH's pharmacy team used the stronger drug to compound a new eye drop that cleared the infection. Unfortunately, the infection was just so severe that caused permanent loss of vision in her case. We thought it was a fluke accident. But Dr. Morelli decided to test all of the patient's eye drops, and that's when they discovered one of her artificial tears bottles was contaminated. They reported the findings to the Ohio Department of Health and CDC and learned this week that their case is definitely linked to the outbreak. Wednesday, they published their findings in JAMA Ophthalmology. Now, the FDA warned consumers not to buy or use EzraCare artificial tears or Delsum Pharma's artificial tears and Delsum Pharma's artificial eye ointment because of concerns of possible contamination by this dangerous bacteria, Russ. Okay, Monica, what are the symptoms that patients need to look out for? Yeah, that's what uh, a lot of people are wanting to know. So yellow or green or clear discharge from the eye, eye pain or discomfort, redness of the eye or eyelid, and a sensation that there's something in your eye, and and also an increased sensitivity to light and blurry vision and even vision loss. And just to underscore, we're talking, as you pointed out, about certain brands, not yes. all eye drops. Not so all right. eye drops, just those certain brands that were recalled on February 1st. Okay. Monica Robbins, thank you. Sure.